welcome to my channel my name is ola if it's your first time coming across my channel you're welcome thank you so much please hit the subscribe button so that you can join the family and if you are returning thank you so much for always coming back i love you so so much so today i'll be stopping by the mall to get a tripod since i came to cape town i've been shooting without a tripod and it's been so so stressful so while i'm waiting for my cargo to come with my tripod i'm just going to get a mini tripod at the more today so it will be easy for me when i'm shooting but before i go to the mall to get the tripod i'll be making this dodo if you want the recipe of my gizz dodo is on my channel you can check my channel below and you will see the recipe of the gizz dodo so i'm just going to show you guys some clips of how i made the gizz dodo and after that i'll be headed to the mall to get a tripod some groceries and it's true winter is about to come and the weather is so cold even when it's sunny it's so cold as you can see it's really sunny and i'm still putting on a sweater because it's so cold so i'm just going to stop by the mall also to get heater and also electric blanket to prepare for winter because even though it's no winter yet guys i can't sleep on my bed the bed sheets are always cold even when all the doors the windows everywhere are closed my bed is always cold so guys i need electric blankets and also i need to get a heater and i'll be doing that today so i'll be getting some groceries electric blanket heater and also a tripod for my shooting video yes so when my cargo come i'll get my other tripod and my lights and so far i've not been using any led lights to shoot i've been using natural lights to shoot since i came to cape town because all my lights my tripod everything are inside my cargo yes and i've not received my cargo so guys join me as i make this dodo now and also as i go to the mall Get a tripod. Yeah. Can I uh, not this type, not this type. So you're looking for a tripod? How many feet is this? There's one that is very long. This one is three fifty rounds, and I don't like this. This one here. So guys, I came into the store, the repair desk, to get a tripod. And yeah, they have different things, chargers everything needs speakers and everything and yeah this is the tripod i will be getting mm -hmm. it's very tall it's very 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 tall let me show you guys the height so guys as you can see the length it's really 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 nice and it's very 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 no i just want landscape okay yeah because it's for youtube so the length is really really nice
welcome back my beautiful people it's your girl Ola guys we have hit 1k subscriber on YouTube I want to say a big thank you to you guys for subscribing for sharing for engaging I wouldn't have done this without you guys thank you for the 1k subscribers on YouTube I know 2k we are coming we are running like this to 2k trust me and congratulations to our 1k subscribers I love you guys so so much thank you. so a quick update yeah you guys already know that when I was coming from Nigeria before I came from Nigeria I actually sent out my items through cargo that would come to south africa normally the plan was that the items are going to get to south africa within three days even before i come to south africa but unfortunately i don't know what happened and it's been months we haven't seen my cargo yet every of my items like my valuables are inside that cargo i've been feeling sad for a while because almost everything i function with is inside the cargo my food stuff my makeup bag my shoes my hands my hair products my tripod including my tripod i use for cooking and all the videos i've been shooting here since i came to south africa i've been using my hand one hand to hold my phone and the other hand to function which hasn't been easy but i had to do it so guys i'm really scared that this item i would have lost so many of my valuables inside that cargo due to heat and the time frame yes like my food store my travel plans was very um, quick and fast because when I went to the market to get the food stuff, I wasn't chance to sun the fish so that it would dry very well. So I just packed everything at once and I just maybe thinking the cargo will get into Cape Town within three days and I would just unbox everything. But unfortunately, it's more than months now. So I'm just scared that my food stuff, my shoes, my shoes, I can't even imagine putting my leather shoe inside a bag that is closed for long, like for months, like. I'm really scared that I would. My shoes will spoil, my food stuff will spoil. But anyway, no matter how many things spoil, I know that there are still lots of important things that I will still get. I'm prepared now. I'm going there to get the cargo. And this is what I'm looking like. The shirt and jean and my slide. I don't know if you can see me full. But yeah, this is my full look. And I'm going out to get the cargo. Wish me luck. Bye. <laughs> I'm really pissed there. Can you see? No, my YouTube. So guys, these are my items. Some things are kind of spoiled already. As you can see, I'm bringing it out. Sure. Let me remove it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Okay, this one here. And this one okay, These are my stockfish. Stockfish don't don't fish. Fresh fresh stockfish that I that I bought. Everything don't jab at that. And this one that fish. That fish don't go. These are my things. And the packets. So guys, I've been able to change all the nylon that came with it because everything was stored and it was a mess. So I had to change everything outside before I take them inside my house so that I will not carry that inside my house. And I'm just drying the stockfish here. And after drying the stockfish, so I'm just trying to turn this here. So this one, so I think it's done. I also have this one and this big one also. So yeah, so that's why I'm saving this for this one. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 
Guys, so far, this is how my stockfish looks. It's really getting back together. The best thing you can do for your fish is to sun it. And this is how my blackfish look. Like so many spoils. And I've been able to trash the spoils once. And thank God I revived the remaining ones. Yeah. So as you can see, they are strong. As you can see, they are strong. So I just clean them up with oil and I sun them. After sunning, I'll still take them to my oven to dry with my oven and I'll bring them out. So I'm going to sun them for like five days before I know they'll be ready. So guys, yeah. Updates, my blackfish. You can see. So these are the ones that i was able to get so guys this is my goosey i'm going to sun it because i don't have big tray so i think i'm going to sun it bad by batch so, yeah. it's 
good to turn a goosey so that all the heat can come out and to dry properly. Okay. Once you have well dried a goosey, it will last for you for years. Mm. <laughs> now, yesterday I was really sad because so many of my fish got spoiled and my tripod broke also. So I was really sad, but in all sha, I still thank God because I still have some of my valuables with me. Yeah, so let me just dry this once. I think it's full now. Once this set is well dried, I'm going to do this set. We still have two sets. So I'm going to do this set once this set is well dried. So let me pick it up and dry it. Yeah. Since I don't have another tray, I'll just turn this one here inside so it will be one and i'll take it out with a ziplock bag like that so that the breeze can just air can just go down inside i'm just going to fold this way because i'm improvising <laughs> i just fold it like this yeah so let's go my egusi my stockfish and my blackfish yeah, the sun is hitting hard on them. I love it. Don't play. This is the gallery I brought from Lagos. This one and this one. So right now I'm going to be drying the gallery. Normally I'm supposed to sun the gallery, but due to some things, and I just have to dry it again with fire. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to dry it. You can sun your gallery. You can do it this local way. So for the gallery, I'm going to be using this big pot. Thank God I have this big pot. That's why it's good to have big pots. In case of emergency just like now yes so i'm going to be using this my big pot you can use your big pan or anything to dry your gallery so i'm just going to show you how i will dry my gallery with this big pot so first just going to pour the gallery inside the big pot i don't know if you can see me no i do not put anything inside the pot <laughs> don't add anything inside your pot just pour your gallery here is bigger than this by pot. Uh -huh. ah. Since I have this batch, I think this is fine. I'm going to fry it bad by bad. So you just have to place it on your stove or on your gas. Using this spatula to stir. So you just keep stirring like this. Uh oh, be careful. Because you don't want it to get burnt. Yeah, it's getting hot. Just keep turning, just keep turning, 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 turning. While you're turning, let me drink small juice. <laughs> <laughs> let me drink small juice, I'm big. I cannot keep myself. <laughs> What's the way you're turning? Don't add juice to your gallery, I beg. I'm just drinking my juice in peace. <laughs> Add this juice to your gallery, it will be called cranberry gallery. But please don't, don't add no. a lot of people are going to add the juice to your gallery. I'm just sipping my juice. So guys, this one is ready. I'm just going to take it out now. I'll just place this on the surface. I can just pour it. So yeah. So I'll just carry the gallery. See I'll just place it here. You proceed with your next step. Yeah. You repeat it again until all oh, your gallery is ready. I think I'm just going to do this three times. Yeah. Just keep staring. Just press this one around so that it will get cool. It's hot. Mm. Very, very hot. Just put this round. Oops, oopsie. So, this, this is the second one. The same way, you just put this. Oh, 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 oh. careful. 
This is the last set. So I'm not going to be using this same ziplock. I'm going to trash this ziplock. Okay. Ziplock. Ziplock. So this third set is ready. I just have to turn off my gas now. Note, I did all this on low heat. I did not increase my gas. I did it on low heat. So I'm just going to turn this now. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's wrong also. This is how my curry looks. I'm just going to eat for a while so that to cool off before I pack it inside the Ziploc bag. Yeah. So guys, this will be the end of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't want the vlog to be too lengthy. In my next video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to preserve and store your food items that will make it last longer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you've watched my video to this extent, please subscribe, please. Subscribe, like, share, and please don't forget to comment. Ask me any questions. If you have any suggestions on how I can preserve my food, you can still let me know on the comment section. I'm open to learning. So yes, end of the vlog. Thank you for watching. I love you guys.